Tonight, a local LGBT youth group is running out of time. They're trying to build a float for the upcoming Nashville Pride Parade. Problem is, their trailer is broken. News Channel 5's Chris Conti with how they hope you can help. Imagine the kind of courage it must have taken when at age 11, Mason Spaulding drew a different path for his life, deciding it was time to come out to his family. Then imagine what it was like realizing in Nashville there are no LGBT support groups for kids under 14. If LGBT groups are only starting at 14, that's a lot of time for them to worry and not know that there's a community for them. And, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult, especially at that age, to know that there are people like you. Mason's mom, Deborah, saw the need as well. It's just a little bit about what we do. And decided to help her son launch the group Rainbow Squad. They're a nonprofit that meets once a month to help kids who have struggled with being gay. So these kids, they've, they, a lot of them literally have lost every single friend that they've had because they've come out at school or come out, you know, to their family and they've, they've lost people around them. The group has grown so much over the past few years that next weekend their plan is to build a float for the Nashville Pride Parade. They have lots of balloons to blow up. They have all the supplies they need. The them. problem lies with the trailer that is supposed to support their float. As you can tell, it's not exactly in the safest of working conditions. We are actively looking. We have a few leads, but nothing is solidified and it's crunch time. So we need to make this happen for these kids. Time is of the essence here, with the parade a little more than a week away and a determination to march. This means a lot to them. They are so excited about this parade. I, I, there is no way that we're not going to make this happen. It's going to happen one way or another. These kids are going to be in this parade. All because both Mason and his mom know this is about much, much more than a float in a parade. We have faith in our community that it's going to happen. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. If you have a trailer the group can use for the Pride Parade, or maybe you just want to learn more about the Rainbow Squad, head to our Facebook page and website right now.